Hey, it's SJ, how are you? Look what's arrived, my food shop. It's always a bit like a huge relief because the cupboards are totally bare and we are quite good at meal planning so I normally end up with not much waste by the end of the week but it is Monday and I have food planned, the food has all been delivered so I don't have to go to the supermarket with three kids which is a total hellish nightmare so I feel really really chuffed <laughs> as like the small achievements I thought I would show you what I got because I love watching these I always get like funny ideas of other people's meals like I never thought of cooking that even though they're really really simple all of mine are very very simple um, so I'll show you what I got what I've got for the kids who are I'm vegetarian they love veggie food but they eat meat as well and then my husband who often has to cook for himself because I like to eat a very low fat diet and I also supplement my meals with um, Cambridge rate pan meals um, but I have got a delivery of Cambridge rate pan stuff coming so the next video I will do a what I eat in a day video so if you want to see that then hit subscribe as well but I'll quickly show you what I've got and our meal plan for the week so I will go breakfast dinner, lunch, <laughs> weirdly enough. So Freddie absolutely loves these blueberry wheats. I don't know, I've never, only ever seen the wheat toast ones, but he really likes having those. He's eight, he'll have a big bowl of those and he'll have probably have toast and things as well. And Finn just recently chose shreddies and him and Evelina really, really loved them. They're doing a big thing about being vegan at the moment, aren't they? Um, but we have that with um, whole milk. I always buy the organic whole milk. Um, but Evelina will sometimes have soya milk, which is what I prefer. Freddie also loves bagels, so he could have all of that and a bagel. And let me know if you're interested in seeing a video about how to fill up an eight-year-old, because I have literally been struggling and got some ideas on it. Actimel drinks. So I normally buy the kids' ones you'll have seen if you've watched any of my videos before on food. They do little kids' ones, but they like these ones just as much. And they also absolutely all love the innocent smoothies. So I've got some of those, and they're kind of... The kids ones, so they're not um, bitty at all. We were out of laundry tablets. I normally buy Fairy Non Bio, but I've gone for Aerial Pods. They are definitely the best, best, best ones in the market. And now there's two of them at school. I do feel like I need a really, really good whitewash detergent, and I know this is the absolute best. So, got that. I'll let you know what I think of it. I'm sure you'll be fascinated. Um, Henrik plays sports once a week, and whenever he gets in for some unknown reason, he's always wants the spaghetti carbonara but because he has like zero time so I've got him one of those and on Friday night he's gonna have chicken Kievs so I've got him some chicken Kievs that's like his favorite meal I don't know we find it hilarious for some unknown reason fruit wise I've got strawberries pears and blueberries and Evelina and Freddie will both eat those Finn is not a fruit lover so I always still buy the Ella Kitchen pouches the vegetable ones though mainly even though when you buy the vegetable ones, if you have a look on the back, they are mainly pears. So 79% pears, they're pretty much fruit. <laughs> you can get the just pure veg range as well from Ella's Kitchen. But I still buy those as Finn, even though he's five, he still likes them. So I just always like having those if he asks for a snack, he thinks it's a treat. And the rest of their snacks, they have organics, rice cakes, and I'll take those after school or they'll just dip into them in the cupboard. These randomly were like came free with something else that's why I've got those but I think they'll probably like those but low fat stuff isn't the best is it for kids because they're normally packed with sugar and then they all like these even Freddie who is eight still really likes all the Ellis kitchen stuff <laughs> I did get some more Ellis stuff Evelina loves these puddings but she normally eats them just all throughout the day as a snack to be honest and look what I got for Freddie so cute he literally loves arctic roll because it's like cake and jam and ice cream together so he has that for pudding and just some cheese, we always buy the Cathedral City cheese. And then the first meal I have is gammon. So as I said, I'm vegetarian, but Freddie tried gammon at school and absolutely loves it. So I can actually cook this, which I know sounds strange, but I can just put it in the pan. I've got um, two of these, so Henrik can have one as well. And I'm just gonna serve that with boiled potatoes. They quite like plain boiled potatoes and then with the uh, sugar snap peas and baby corn because they all like that. Um, they love to have fun eating their veg, so the baby corn is really fun for them because they eat it like a rabbit. And then I've got a chilli to do, so I'm doing a butternut soup potato chilli. So that will have that in it and also a bit of the corn mince. I'm going to do that for the kids. I'm going to toast a little bit of tortillas and maybe melt some cheese on top and make it into the little crisp wedges and they can have it with that. And then... I'll also have some of this. Henrik will have it with rice and I'll just have it with no carbs. 
and passata and I already have the mild chilli. Um, so yeah, that's going to be quite a fun meal for them and they all quite like that. And then the after school snack, they all have these spoon sausage rolls. So I always pick them up with a hot sausage roll. <laughs> They're so hungry and I have to do three because Evelina has one as well. So I've had to buy quite a few of those. I haven't got enough for every day of the week. Randomly, I've got french fries. I was trying to buy some chips just to have the freezer um, backup option. But they've substituted them for french fries, which the kids will be very excited about. So my third meal is going to be these crispy nuggets. So I've got some corn nuggets. I feel like they're a bit healthier. There's mainly green and orange on the front than sort of normal chicken. And I've got this thing going on at the moment where we call it rainbow veg. So I'll have broccoli, all of this stuff, a bit of this stuff I'll leave behind and some potatoes. But they quite like it because it's quite colorful. So we're like, oh, with rainbow veg. And sometimes I'm just not giving them so many potatoes to encourage them to eat more of the veg. So that's what I'm gonna do this week and see if that works. Random cucumber, must be a lunchtime thing. And then I have got some peppered steaks for me, which I'm gonna have with veg one night. Lunches, Evelina is at home with me, she's two. So I've bought some of these which go in the freezer and they're like frozen jacket potatoes. I haven't bought them in ages, but they're such a good little lunch option. And I've also got some fish fingers, again, freezer option, and she likes those for lunch if she's gonna have a hot lunch. And then my last meal is gonna be chicken and mushroom pasta. So I always buy the like whole meal pasta. The kids don't care either way, so I may as well. And I'm basically gonna do that with corn pieces instead of chicken, garlic, and mushrooms. And I use the cheese to make a kind of cheesy sauce for that and garlicky. And I think they'll all really enjoy that. So yeah, for me, I'm still doing Cambridge weight plan, but I've introduced a few prepared meals as well as the made scratch meals that I've been doing for a year, just to kind of like make things a little bit easier for myself as well, now that I'm not having a Cambridge weight plan replacement meal apart from at breakfast. So I'm starting to buy soups, which are things I absolutely love. I've always loved soup. So I've got a skinny vegetable soup from Covent Garden, and I've got a soulful soup Thai chili kale, edamame peas and quinoa. So I normally try to find ones that don't have like beans or pulses or heavy veg, that's got quinoa in it, but I think that'll be okay. Um, and I'll have that for lunch one day and I just try not to have that with bread or anything. If I do want something on the side, I'll have some cucumber or something like that. And my other absolutely favorite things in the world, tofu. So Evelina really likes this tofu as well, so quite often we'll have the same kind of for lunch or I'll have these for dinner. I've bought like two packs of these and it's just like smoked tofu in a wiener. Yeah, but for some reason these are like, me and Evelina both absolutely love them. They're kind of smoky so they can just be chopped up on the side of a picky plate or cooked in with something, it doesn't really matter, but we both really, really like them. So I'll have those for lunch and one meal I'm gonna do this week is cottage cheese. So I use cottage cheese like instead of a dressing with spinach. I absolutely love spinach. I can have raw spinach, cooked spinach, spinach all day, I don't know why, I just absolutely love it. And then I've got another second pack of mushrooms that's gonna go in the kids' pasta, but I won't have that pasta dish. I'll do kind of like a mushroom, spinachy thing, probably something like that for myself. And I've got bits in the cupboard, like I've got lentils and stuff like that already. So I will be making myself up bits and bobs from that selection. Um, yeah, so that is our family food shop for the whole week. As I said, what's coming next is a what I eat in a day to maintain my weight loss. Um, and yeah, so click subscribe and follow along if you're interested in that. And I will see you all in my next video. Lots of love, guys. Bye-bye.